here, the Frugal Crafter. You wonder what I'm wearing with this fashionable accessory is? It is a cute little wristlet that I'm gonna show you how to make today. We're gonna do a sewing project. And look at this. It holds little bags. You're, you know those shopping bags you get when you go to the store when you've forgotten your cloth ones? Well, now you can reuse them. You can use them at farmer's market. You can take them back to the grocery store for bagging your produce. They're really handy to have around. They're great for when you walk the dog, too. Uh, today's video is brought to you by Paper Mart. You can check them out online at www.papermart.com, your best source for packaging and more. That's where I got the ribbon and the Velcro. And um, I'm going to show you how to make this project. And it's super fun, super easy, and super useful. Let's go to the table and get cracking. For this project, you're going to need some fabric. I used a fat quarter. Um, you're going to need some ribbon. This is inch and a half grow grain ribbon from Paper Mart. It's so pretty and it's printed on both sides, which is important because you're going to see both sides of this ribbon on the uh, wristlet area. You're also going to need some Velcro. I have um, this hook and loop tape that also came from Paper Mart. You want the sew on kind. I know it's tempting to get the stick on kind and then stitch over it. That's a pain in the butt because it gets your needle all sticky. So get the sew on kind. It's very easy to work with. I promise you. What you need is an 8 inch by 18 inch piece of fabric. Here I have this cute little whale print. This would also be really cute in a nursery to put those bags, have those shopping bags around in case you want to bag up an especially stinky diaper. And then you're going to fold this in half. Now if you're doing the big one, you would just use like a 18 by 16 piece of fabric instead of an 18 by 8. Now to get that rounded edge, I'm going to trace something round. You could use your spool of ribbon, you could use a plate. Um, actually, a plate works really well. And I'm just going to use a colored pencil. So what I've done is I fold it in half, and I'm going to trace a circle on the fold. I'm just putting my plate down like that, and I'm just going to trace around this edge. I actually only need to trace half of it. So to make sure I get an absolute perfect um, symmetrical cut, I'll fold my fabric in half, and then I'm just going to cut that quarter size and it'll be automatically symmetrical. It may be kind of hard to see my line, but you'll see when I cut it what I mean. There we go. So then when I open it up, I am going to have kind of this banner shape. Now notice I have my right sides together. See that? All right, now I need some ribbon for the um, Velcro, Velcro closure area. Now this is meant to be a wristlet, but really you could have you could wrap it around anything you like. Um, I'm going to want about 15 inches of ribbon, so I'm just going to measure it out here on my little cutting board. I just recently got this, um, put this on my table. It's very handy to have. And now I'm going to want more of the fuzzy loop than the uh, scratchy hook loop. So I'm going to take about five inches of the fluffy loop. And then I only want about two inches of the hook loop. That's going to prevent um, there being like extra hook exposed that might scratch a person's wrist or snag their clothing. So only about two inches of the, um, of the hook side. And I'm hoping that doesn't dull my scissors because I'm just going to be using my, uh, my regular sewing scissors throughout. Now we're all set to go to the sewing machine and sew this up. We'll begin by um, attaching our Velcro to our wristlet area. So the first thing you want to do is fold back one of the sides. And then you're going to lay your Velcro, we'll do the, um, the fuzzy side first, right over that. So you're kind of pinching the, um, the folded over raw edge in there. And we're just going to stitch. If you feel like um, it's going to move around on you too much, you can pin it. I would remove the pins as you go. Um, and then just stitch it that way. I'm using a stitch length of eight stitches per inch and I'm using a straight stitch. Go forward, go reverse to lock your stitches in place and then sew down each side and the bottom of your Velcro strip. We're not going to do the top because we'll be locking that down um, when we go to, to um, sew down that raw edge. Number two, lift up your presser foot and turn your ribbon so you can get nice sharp corners. And just reverse to lock it down again. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, except we're doing it on the opposite side because that is going to give us a nice, um, a nice wrist closure. I keep a little um, tin under my sewing table to catch all my scraps. And I actually, another tip is I tied my thread cutter to my sewing table so it doesn't wander off. That tends to happen. 
So for a closure, it's going to wrap around like that. So I want to make sure that my, uh, my other side of the ribbon, my other side of the Velcro is on the back of the ribbon. So I am going to fold it down on the opposite side, just like we did before, and I'm going to attach the um, hook side of my Velcro. Does that make sense? I hope so. And we're going to stitch it down just like we did before. All right, now we have a strip of um, ribbon with Velcro on it that can be adjusted and adhered, and it's going to work out perfectly for our project. The only thing we need to do now is just stitch over those raw edges so that it doesn't um, it doesn't fray on us. The nice thing though about Girl Grain ribbon is that it tends not to fray. Again, I, I like to do forward and reverse at the start and finish of each stitch. And you want to do that to the other end as well. Now we're going to stitch up the pouch. So I've got both right sides together, but I need to open it up and I need to put the ribbon on the inside because we're going to lock that right in the same seam. So what I've done is I've folded my ribbon in half. I put the fuzzy side to the outside. The hook side is on the inside. And then you just want to lay it across your, um, your shape about two inches from the edge. That's going to give us time, uh, enough room to fold down and um, have a gusset for our elastic. And then I'm going to pin that in place. It's kind of awkward. I'm kind of holding it so you can see it in front of the camera. Typically I would do this um, at my table lying flat, but I want you to get the idea. If you want, you can go pin around the entire, um, the entire pouch, but I don't think that's really necessary. It's a pretty, it, it will hold together pretty well. It'll stick together pretty well. So just go ahead and stitch a seam all the way around the pouch. All right. Just trim your ends, trim your thread ends. And then we're going to fold over an area for the um, for the elastic to go. So to do that, I stick my thumbs in there. I fold it over once. I just try to get like about a quarter of an inch on that first fold. And I fold it over again. And that's going to um, end up just about where we tucked our ribbon in. So we don't want to sew over our ribbon here. We just want to have a little place for our elastic to be fed through. That will give us the elastic closure that will hold our shopping bags inside our little pouch. Now notice my um, I have the free arm here. I've taken away the um, the base. I've been sewing like that this whole time um, because that will that's going to be easy for me to sew. I can just slide that on and stitch it down all the way around. I'm going to leave a gap here so that um, when I go to feed the elastic in I'll have a little place to pop it in and out. Again you want to start by uh, stitching forward reversing and then going ahead to lock down your stitch. So sew that all the way around. I'm just leaving a little gap that I can get in with my elastic. All right. Trim your threads. I got a few extra threads I spotted while I was sewing. Now to put the elastic in, all you need is a safety pin. I'm using quarter inch elastic. Um, it doesn't matter what kind you use. It comes in braided or woven. I think I have, um, is it braided and woven? I think so. I think that's how it comes. Either kind will work. Um, and I'm just going to go in through that little gap that I made and I am going to feed it through. Since I have a safety pin on the end of the elastic, it will glide through quite easily. I have about probably half of an inch gusset there to work through. Your first couple bags you might want to give a bigger allowance just so that you have a little more room to work, but then after you get used to this technique it's very easy to do. Then you'll just need to use whatever, you know, whatever you actually need for width. I am uh, not that experienced of a sewer. I like quick fat quarter type projects. Um, I think this would just be an excellent project to do. Um, a great present for a kid to make for their grandparents or teacher. It's just a uh, you know, great beginner sewing project. Oops, my, uh, my safety pin came open in there. That's not a good thing. That's all right. I think I can work it out and grab my elastic that way. We still in frame. Awesome. All right. So now uh, you could tie this in a knot, but it's going to be kind of bulky. So what I'm going to do, and it's quicker this way, I'm just going to stitch. I'm going to switch to a zigzag stitch. And I'm going to um, shorten the sti stitch length to about 12 stitches an inch. I'm going to move over to um, 
a wide stitch length, kind of like a stat satin stitch. I like to grab my thread though when I put my needle down into my material so it doesn't pull it pull the thread out. I don't like to rethread my machine. Again, we're going to go forward, reverse, and forward to lock that down good. That stitch is going nowhere. All right, I'm just going to trim my leftover elastic. I could even trim it closer than that so it's less bulky. Trim my threads. And turn it right side out for the big reveal. There. Isn't that cute? And now it's so easy to use. I can just put it right on my wrist. Just like that. I can even tighten it up more if I want. Can you see that? Ta-da! I want to thank you so much for watching today. I want to thank Paper Mart for being our sponsor. Uh, you can find the Velcro and ribbon I used at Paper Mart. Check them out online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.